This is literally my first vlog starting this year, so I feel there's so much to catch you guys up on. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I say this in every vlog, but it has been a bit of a time since I filmed a YouTube video. Um, yeah, term two was just a really busy term to be honest, and I have so many vlogs which I just haven't even edited, but I'm slowly making my way through them as we speak. I thought I'd give a bit of an intro before getting into the vlog because, well, to be honest, I didn't really get a chance to film an intro for this vlog. But the vlog which you're about to see is a vlog which I did a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, when I was in university. So yeah, a bit of time ago. As you can tell, I'm not at university, I'm actually at home right now because it's my Easter holidays and I'm currently drowning in work. So I thought what better way to procrastinate drowning in work than to show you guys a vlog of me doing work which I'm supposed to be doing work, but I'm not, but I'm procrastinating. Basically, just, I might as well procrastinate and edit a YouTube video. I thought I'd give you guys a bit of context as to what was going on, um, because I kind of just jump into the vlog. But essentially, I start filming from the Saturday of the week, and that week I went to TEDx Warwick, which was really cool. I got to meet Robbie Lyle from AFTV, so you'll probably see a bit of that in the vlog. And yeah, it was just a really good day altogether. Then following that, I had the Real L Festival at Warwick. I think I have a couple clips of that. Then that's kind of the weekend, and then from there it kind of, like, is a bit more normal and I like, start explaining what I'm actually doing instead of just filming in a really random way. So yeah, hopefully you'll understand what happens post that whole weekend thing. I don't film anything on Sunday because it Again, I'm not filming in a proper consistent way because consistency is literally something I can't do. Anyway, let's get into the video. There's been some great speakers that have come up here and spoken about so many great topics and it's so inspirational. Just take away, even if it's one thing that someone throughout this day has said, take that away with you. Had no experience in filming, didn't have a social media channel, didn't know how to edit a video. All I had was an idea. It's been an honour for me. Keep being famous. Thank you very much. So it's Monday today and somehow I'm motivated enough to actually go to the gym. My relationship with the gym is so inconsistent. It's almost becoming a bit of a joke right now. To be honest, it's not really my fault. The last time I went to the gym, I essentially got so tired that I didn't sleep properly and ended up getting COVID from that. So that was fun. It's been about a month since I last went to the gym. So I'm not really looking forward to this session because I know that I'm just gonna be not in a great position. I know I have to get back onto it. And for me, I do feel like once I go to the gym after I do feel a lot better. And I know that's what every study YouTuber says, but it's actually true. And yeah, I just want to start building up a bit of consistency with the gym. Like I know that I'm not very good at like being consistent with a lot of things in my life, especially my physical exercise. But if I can just take this step and just start to try and get into a bit more of a routine, I think it will do me some good. So yeah, enough rambling, let's go to the gym. I also need to get like new gym clothes because this whole gym fit, just not the one, not gonna lie. So please ignore the laundry in the background, but it's currently seven o'clock or just gone seven o'clock. So a long time since I was in the gym and you're probably thinking well I haven't filmed much today and it's purely because I haven't done much work today. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have the most productive day. I'm learning more and more that I am not a machine and sometimes I just need to take breaks and have days which are quote unquote not productive, even though they are productive, but days which are just not working all the time. Right now, I think that I'm going to try to read two journal articles, which I need to read for an upcoming essay that I have. And then I think I'm gonna make dinner. I'm thinking of writing on a film, potentially American Psycho for my next upcoming essay, but I really just don't know if I wanna do it or not. I'm getting really tired of just reading books all the time. I know it's probably like sacrilege for an English literature student to say that, but 
it just does get really tiring. So I think it would really be helpful for me to just diversify the media which I'm looking at. Also, I'm really excited because this weekend I've got a ball. I've got a ball with the Warwick Law Society. I'm excited to actually just do something a bit different because Warwick University can be really good at times, but also sometimes there can be these dry patches. So having something to look forward to, like a ball, makes things a bit interesting. It's actually really weird because this term I've got like two or three black tie events. So I'm literally going to be wearing a tux like every other week or every week. Right, I need to stop. Whatever this is, let's go on to reading these articles. Lately I've been thinking about the choices I have made and doubt the life I've chosen for myself. I wonder how it would pan out if I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England. Never know, but when I see my friends, I see them with this golden glow. It seems they can touch the rainbow. I guess I'll never know, never know, never know. Would that be me? If I stayed in my city Bright blue and green Is that how my life would be? Is that how my life would be? And often we're reminded to so it's Tuesday today. I spent my morning going to the shopping center in my like local area, trying to pick up some things for the ball on Saturday. I managed to get a masquerade mask, which was a big win, I guess, because the theme, or well, not the theme, the dress code is black tie masquerade. Don't know what that is, never done that in my life. I feel like you're kind of figuring it out, I feel, and kind of got some things for that sorted. Right now I need to go to a seminar and I'm speaking really fast because again, as per usual, I'm running a bit late. So I need to catch a bus. And yeah, I think the rest of the day is just gonna be me on campus doing seminars, to be honest. I've got a lot of work I need to do for my dissertation because I have a dissertation meeting tomorrow. Not thinking about that now, just gonna try and get to seminars. The seminar reading, has it been done? Maybe not properly, maybe not at all. I mean, this is final year for you. This is literally my final year general vibe. But yeah, I'm gonna head off to campus now and try not to be too late for my seminars. currently Friday evening. Sorry that I haven't vlogged as much on Wednesday and Thursday. I was just going up and down so much between going to seminars on campus to having to really quickly get my hair cut and then just a lot of different rushed things. It was just me basically running around like a headless chicken. I didn't think I'd make the most interesting vlog. Today I've basically done not much work. I feel like this vlog has been very much just me. I don't know what I've even been doing to this evening, me and a couple mates actually going to my friend's house. We're just gonna have like a really nice dinner. It's gonna be quite a chilled evening. Basically, this helps me because tomorrow is gonna be a very, very busy day at the Law Ball. We're actually getting this steak from a restaurant called Hawksmoor. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I've actually been to Hawksmoor in London before. If you don't follow my Instagram, go follow it up. 
at io.vlogs. But yeah, Hawksmoor is a really good restaurant. Um, they do the most like amazing steaks, uh, always really good food there. So we've basically ordered steaks or come to the house of my friend and then we're gonna all like help out and cook in gonna be really good. I'm gonna keep the drinks to quite a minimum. And yeah, I'll definitely take you guys along with me and show you guys the finished steak and cocktails when it comes round to it. But yeah, um, probably have to go in like the next two or three minutes. So I'm gonna leave it here, um, but I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. When and my mate is actually knocking, so I've got to go now, so bye. East and the West, racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. I'm thinking I should arrest All night long, she putting me to the test Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest Couldn't know my lines, it's anything but the best Hey girl, the cutest that I see So bad, I'm not using my visine Gotta get it like Leon, and I'm not icy So beautiful, like it in my dreams Hey boom, I learn that you Not rude, I'm just trying to be your dude So what I gotta do is just see how that ass move So beautiful, sorry to be cool Yo B, I'm making the next move And no me, I'm nothing but just smooth Low seats, I'm setting the right rule. All these other rappers, they talking, they just fool. Hey, I'm talking to just you. You talking to one dude. You rockin' with one dude. And if I get it right, then I'll turn off the lights soon. Hey, girl, you wanna be my world? Get showered, diamonds and some pearls. I'm trying to make you my night, girl. Hey, guys, so it's Saturday, which means the day is finally here and it's finally law ball. Kind of excited, kind of nervous. I don't even know why I'm nervous, but. I am. I think I ate way too much for lunch because I had like a McDonald's as well as having like a chicken teriyaki. Purely because it's 3.30 now and in about half an hour we're gonna start drinking around four. I felt that I definitely needed to have something in my stomach before starting to drink at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm not gonna lie, I always wanna be very honest and real with you guys. I feel that because I've just done so much this week and also because there's so much which has kind of gone into like organizing law ball and like preparing for it. I kind of feel like I've psyched myself out of it. I'm not as excited as I feel like I should be considering it's my like one of my last few balls at university. We don't really get many balls at work because it's just quite like academic and it's more modern in that sense. We don't really do as many traditional things. So yeah, I should be a lot more excited, but I don't really feel too excited. I've done so much, like I've bought a new shirt, I've bought new shoes. Um, wait, let me show you guys what I've bought. So I've bought these really fancy shoes from like one of these really nice independent shops and they look so smart. I think they look really good and they're gonna look really good in my tux. Those were really expensive and don't really wanna think about the damage to the bank account for that. I also got a new scarf. Uh, it's like a white scarf from Moss Bros. Um, just to kind of accentuate my tux a bit. And then the ball's also like a masquerade theme. So I've bought a masquerade mask, which I think is gonna look really nice. I'll show you guys when I put it all on. Was it something I said to your face when I was stepping one foot out of your drive that made you throw up that line? You smoked and you did it again, and now these days I get so sick of the sight. If you are turn off the light, I bet you never ever thought you met a thousand nights. Me who tells himself to put away a thousand more than easily. I'm gonna bring the past to bed just so that I can make you see how I feel about the cards. Okay, so bar the slides, this is the finished look. Um, oh, my trousers are rolling up way too much. This is the finished look from an angle. Sorry, it does look a bit weird, but then it is a masquerade pool, so... Yeah, gotta go now because people are here for pre's, but then I'm gonna film some more clips at the ball and insert them later in this vlog. Come on. I'm not feeling amazing, feeling a little worse for wear, not gonna lie. But yeah, Law Ball last night was so good. I'm so happy I like, pushed myself to go because 
I mean, firstly, I'd spent so much money, it was a waste of money to not go. But secondly, it was actually a really good time. Like, I had just such a good time with everyone and it was just nice to actually do something a bit different, dress up for something and just like relax, to be honest, because for like university, especially in final year, it does get very involved and chaotic and busy. But yeah, just having some time to relax was definitely needed. Right now, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm gonna head to Birmingham because on Sundays I go to church in Birmingham it's a bit of a journey from where I'm based at university, but it's a commitment I like to make because I feel like the service is really good there. So yeah, it's a really nice day. Looking forward to going on the train, just having some chill time and relaxing for and de-stressing from last night. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I have been filming for a bit more than a week, but yeah, around a week. Thank you guys all for watching the video. If you like the video, definitely give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment and tell me if you like the university content, if you want any other university videos, any videos about Warwick, just let me know because I'm literally here for a few more, I'm here for like probably a few more months. So it's just good if I can get as much content for Warwick out there as possible for you guys. And yeah, let me know if I'm helpful with all that I'm showing you guys. I think I'm gonna just continue doing loads of vlogs because I do wanna have something to look back on on my final year at university so i'm really liking the structure of having all of this vlog setup thing going on hopefully i'll see you guys very soon thanks for watching see you all next time bye